Tahi Mackay, what's your hopes and concerns for this evening? Well, we hope that the season will go off peacefully. Uh, obviously, as you can hear, uh, the village sounds like a village under siege. There's a sizable police operation in place, there's a helicopter in the sky, uh, and we're about to see 25 loyalist bands uh, proceed through what is a mainly nationalist uh, community. So hopefully things do go well, but this is something that is totally unacceptable. Uh, this is something that needs resolved, uh, and between now and next year, the Peace Commission need to put pressure on this band to speak to local residents. In terms of the determination this year it has changed somewhat, was there any kind of notion within the residence groups and the local community that this was a bit of an advancement? Well, there was a small step in the right direction. For the first time, the bands will not be allowed to play sectarian style music past the protest here on Main Street. That is a step in the right direction and it comes from the back of a presentation that the Residents Association gave to the Praise Commission last week. Uh, also, uh, there is a, a determination ruling in regard to flags, which further restricts. It doesn't go far enough, uh, in my view. Uh, but all in all, this parade will still take place, it will still not be completed until after 9 o'clock tonight, until after darkness. Uh, and at that time, there's always an increased risk of something happening here. So that is not good enough as far as we're concerned. Concerned. So we will go back to the Parades Commission as soon as this parade is over uh, to make, strong, make a strong point uh, that talks need to start and talks need to start right away. We are happy, first and foremost, that the parade has uh, passed by generally peacefully, but this has had a huge impact uh, on community relations in Rishargan. I would say we have seen the UDA and UVF flags on display here this, this evening, and that is something that unionist politicians cannot continue to ignore. We need to resolve issues around parades, we need to resolve issues around flags and the past, and we can't, cannot afford to continue spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on police operations like this here, rather than unionist politicians and the organisers of these parades getting around the table and resolving these issues once and for all. When we're having these debates about welfare, about health, about education, quite obviously the money to plug a lot of those gaps are spent on operations just like this.